Okay, so we are inside the um, the laundry room, and I turned off the I, I turned off the exhaust fan because I wanted to, you to be able to actually hear me. What I'd like to do though is I'm going to start by showing you the uh, I'm going to take you through the path that the air goes. So we'll go from the intake all the way uh, to the exhaust fans, and then along the way we'll actually see the mining tent. So let me flip this around and I'll show you what we've got. Okay, so this right here is, um, I, I, basically I cut a hole in the wall. I'm in my garage. Uh, the garage door has about a two inch opening on the bottom. I just, I, I just fixed it so my garage would not shut all the way. What that does is that allows me to, to, to bring a lot of air into the garage um, and it seems to work fine. This is a roughly a two foot uh, hole. And if I come on into the into the laundry room, and we'll just close this door. What you get, see here is you see this box, okay? And and the box has a air filter, common size air filter. I can buy this at uh, Home Depot, and the nice thing is it does a pretty good job of filtering the air with minimal. Uh, Minimal restriction. So then, whoa, we got to zoom back here. That is the mining tent right there. I've got a little node I'm running up there, but that's an old mining rig. Let me open up the tent and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Sit tight. So what I have here is, I, I, this is my kind of like, uh, so this is what a BTC uh, S37 board looks like. Wow, a lot of heat coming out of out of here right now. Um, that's actually one of my test systems. Um, but what I've got, let me kind of take you here. So there's the hole right here. This is the hole where the air comes in. And um, so that's the cold side of my tent. Now if I come up here, you see this two by or this four by four, and then you, you see this board. Let me just come from here. So I made this barrier that kind of blocks. The top of the tent and so all of that behind here all of this is the cold side because these minor cases as you see there's four of them stacked in there they fill that they fill that uh, tent up completely there is no room in that tent um, to let airflow move around so when I close this then it um, it just pulls all the air from that side comes up here and it goes out through that vent hole. Let's take that, let's go look up that vent hole. So there it is. You'll notice I've got two. Now this one is, this one I'll put in later this week as a backup. But this vent right here, I'll just cut a hole, uh, used, a, used a takeoff, and I go up to my ceiling. There's an eight inch exhaust fan. It exhausts up into my attic and uh, that's all there is to it. Now, the nice thing is my attic, my attic does have a ridge vent uh, and soffit vents. So, the pressure, any pressure I'm pushing up into that attic will dissipate uh, easily and not give me any problems. Real quick, uh, remember, I don't, all, don't, uh, don't necessarily copy me in. If you do, it's your fault if something goes wrong. So, this is my power supply or my PDU. I got one of those handy dandy meters. Uh, to let me you know kind of the load at any given time. Surge suppressor wired into the into the panel. This is just an old panel that I had. I wired it so it's 240 volts only. And inside, yeah, I've, uh, these are these are the two um, for the surge suppressor. And then here's a 20 amp circuit, and here's a 20 amp circuit. Uh, the whole panel is fed by a 30 amp circuit. So. Uh, there you go. From there, I plug in to uh, receptacles, and then I run into uh, the computer tent uh, with standard uh, C13 cables. So let's come back over here. There you go. That's that is the whole mining tent, um, and it's about 1.28 gigahash right now. Thanks for watching.